Hey guys, welcome back. Connor in the making. We're doing another book review today. A Higher Loyalty by James Comey. Warning, uh, I'm biased towards James Comey. This is purely opinionated. Do not take what I say for fact, but I really enjoyed the book. Um, so let's get into it without further ado. It's going to be a quick review. Let's go. First of all, James Comey was a former FBI director that was fired by Donald Trump and uh, he served during the um, Obama administration. And he's known as more Republican, but he that's what he served as. Um, he served for a long time. I think he did his job really well. There was a big scandal, obviously, during the election time where he was involved in Hillary Clinton's email investigation. And a lot of people didn't think he handled it well. Both Democrats think that he came out too early and said that she was still under investigation when she shouldn't have been, and he announced the results days before the election, which Hillary Clinton claims to have had a massive effect on her um, loss of the presidential camp campaign. And so, um, also, Republicans don't really like him either because um, they think that he let Hillary Clinton off and that she should have been charged. These are generalizations, but some Republicans, some Democrats believe that this happened. And so, I believe that he was responsible for these things. And then even more controversy, he was fired by Donald Trump, many think because um, he was getting involved in the Russia investigation uh, with Donald Trump's campaign, and so many think that he was fired for that reason. So shortly after, he wrote a book. I was very concerned, very concerned, that this was just going to be a slandering book of the Trump administration, maybe even some of the Clinton-era campaign officials, but... There is none of that. There's a small section about Donald Trump and just his dealings with him. Essentially, this is a chronicle of his life. You know, what he did to become a prosecutor, his steps up to FBI director. And so I was very impressed in his writing and his humility and respect for the people that he served with. So the early part of the book mostly deals with his upbringing. He said that he was very motivated to become a prosecutor. Um, due to his um, effects of bullying as a child, and so he um, was very motivated by that. He talks a lot of justice and decency and humility and um, integrity, definitely, of saying the right thing, being truthful, even whenever it gives you a result that's not, you know, uh, advantageous. And so he's very um, specific on those things and uh, very much advocates for that in your profession nonetheless. I was very interested in his section talking about um, mobsters and uh, his dealings with that. His prosecution was very interesting. Uh, his dealings with Martha Stewart are in the book. Very interesting as well. And it's not until the end that he really dives into some of Hillary Clinton's investigation with the emails and Donald Trump's issues with Russian investigation. What I really enjoyed is that he had specific traits that he kind of outlined in his book for people that make great leaders, which I think is really important, especially for my generation, the younger generation, to read. Because I, I always viewed him as a great leader, very decent trust, someone that I was proud to have in our uh, governmental system. Um, one of the things that he says, obviously what I said before, integrity, humility, confidence, toughness, but um, kindness as well, kind of balancing with that. He goes into detail about all those things, about really what makes a great leader. And uh, and what I was really impressed with is his level to maintain trust in the specifically the FBI system and the De Justice Department because he never wanted to see the FBI as, a, um, as an arm of the political side of government. It was apolitical always. And so there's a lot of concern nowadays about how um, politics might actually be involved in um, the FBI. And so I think he did a great job carrying that forward, trying to be as apolitical as possible. And granted, that's always going to get you into trouble, I believe, whenever you're surrounded by people, especially during an election. And he says, you know, regarding his actions of what he came out and said during his hearings, he, um, he said he believed what he did to be right. There's no, there was no reason for him that I think... Uh, to act a certain way, I guess politically, he was not gunning for anybody necessarily. He just, he really believed what he needed to do to be transparent with the American people, no matter what the time was. So, 
Um, I really enjoyed the book. If you're at all interested in the scandals or his character, or even if you think that maybe he's not the guy that you thought he was, that maybe he is corrupt, or what you've seen on the news is um, troubling with you, I would really encourage you to go pick up a copy of this book and really find out what he says about himself and then formulate your opinion on that. I was very impressed with the book. I was worried about reading it again. I didn't want it to be full of slander and stuff. And and it's not. It's it's really respectful book and it just tells a story. And uh, I think it's great for our younger people going into any kind of public service to understand some of the values of this book. So go read it. Again, remember, I'm biased. So uh, this was purely opinionated, no facts here besides what is actually factual what I said, but um, don't take my opinion as fact, but thank you guys for uh, watching the video, I hope it's interesting um, if you read it, tell me what you thought about it, and so uh, I'm really proud to have this on my bookshelf I only I try to only keep the books that I was really interested, really love on here, and this is one of the best books, and so um, I gave this 5 out of 5 stars and so I really enjoyed it it's a quick read just very good values and practical ways of carrying out your life. So um, thank you guys for watching so much. It really means a lot to me. Please comment of what you'd like to see. If there's any books you've read lately, I'd love to have some sort of uh, collaboration or interaction with those watching the video. So thank you guys so much. I'll see you in the next one. This is Conrad in the